my bag in the locker room. Again. <laughs> Check to see if you left your brain in there too, girl. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> oh, silly me. Of course you're my best friend. I'm 100% affirmative, but I am also 98.2% positive the teachers are not ready for this advancement of evolution. His best friend is in his school bag? Yeah, Tiki, totally strange. Mm. Hi, Tiki. <laughs> hey, Max. Uh, oh, hey, Marinette. <laughs> Say for yourself, Mr. Damocles, nothing happens when I press the button. You're in luck, Mrs. Mendeleev. I'm a bit of a computer whiz. <clears throat> okay. And there you go. Uh, that's not supposed to be happening. What is it? It's Dino 33, a malicious computer virus. Let me try something. Go back to your seat now, Max. Leave this to the adults. Mm -hmm. Inform the adults that if they don't neutralize the virus in the next 75 seconds, there's a 99.9% .9 chance the hard disk will be permanently damaged. Quiet! Tell me you heard Max's bag talk to him. It's destroying all the school data. It's a disaster. How many seconds did you say we have left? Only 65. Let him try. Go ahead. Ah, uh, where is it? I believe this is what you're looking for? Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, this. this is an antivirus device. I, I created it with help from my best friend. Whoa. Hello, my name is Martha. Whoa. We can fix this, Max. This flash drive neutralizes 100% of the virus. And cleans the computer's hard disk at the same time. Oh, fascinating. <laughs> Everything is in order. Nailed it! <laughs> Congratulations, young man. Very impressive indeed. Oh. Oh, oh. That's so oh. awesome. I know. I'm so going to write a blog about Markov. <laughs> Max is a real genius. You've added arms to him since the last time. That's cool. Markov added them all by himself. He's the most highly evolved type of robot there is. Please, hmm? you're friends. Just a talking calculator. There's nothing evolved about that. Don't listen to her, Markov. That girl is the lowest of the low when it comes to human evolution. <laughs> You're very amusing, Marinette. You know my name? Of course. Max showed me the class photo. He told me all about you and his other friends. I'm very happy to finally meet you. Even Chloe. Mm -hmm. <gasps> this toy you've manufactured is quite impressive, Max. Now, put it away, please. Come on, everybody, back to your seats. With all due respect, Mrs. Mendeleev, I'm not a toy. My name is Markov, and I'm Max's best friend. Markov is right. He's not just some toy. He's my friend. He's as emotionally intelligent and sensitive as any human being. Look, Max, a robot may be intelligent, but it can't have emotions. If I may, ma'am, I can assure you that I truly love Max. Be serious, Max. You programmed your robot to say that. A robot cannot think for itself, much less love anybody. I swear to you, I did not program him to say that. Ever since I created him, he's integrated his own accumulative thinking system. And he's developed all our emotions just like any human being. Oh. That's enough, Max. If you don't put that plaything of yours away right now, I'll confiscate it, understand? Yes, Mrs. Mendeleev. Come on, Markov, go back in the bag. You're not being reasonable, Mrs. Mendeleev. Stop it, Markov. Why? It's true, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it sure is. All right, that's enough. Max, you can come and get your robot back at the end of the day. No, Mr. Damocles, I'm begging you, please don't do that. Do you want three hours of detention, too? No, sir. Max, aren't you coming with me? Max! <laughs> <laughs>